Hello, this is our 1234 here, and today I'll be showing you how to get the moonfish, the hammerhead shark, and just the regular shark. I'll not be showing the whale shark as I've already shown it in two other videos. With uh, I showed how to get it with the dolphin, and I also showed how to get it in the Thailand Burst Collection. So if you want to know how to unlock the whale shark, go watch them videos. So. I'll be unlocking the moonfish first. There is some important information that if you unlock the moonfish, you cannot un then unlock the hammerhead shark. You can either unlock the hammerhead or the moonfish. They are both tradable. I will be doing giveaways soon, so if you want to just wait for the giveaways, you can. Uh, but be sure to join. Only on the weekends. Um, you're going to need to have six swordfish in your backpack and you're going to need to have the sea urchin that is the only creature you can use as it's got the climb ability and uh, pressure resistance so you don't die in the water first you're going to need to go up here and collect the staff you don't need deep talk for the moonfish but you do need deep talk for the hammerhead so i'd recommend you go into my, the video that i made yesterday and i'll show you how to get the hippopotamus and the anglerfish so you need the staff and a ribbon so you can just grab the ribbon be careful not to get eaten it will say something different for me as I've already unlocked the moonfish and I've already unlocked the hammerhead shark through trading. So you will still take some pressure resistance when you're down here, down at this depth. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or not. It does keep moving so you have to be careful you don't die before you can click on it. Uh, when, once you click on it, it will say that uh, you will unlock it. So now I, I will show you how to get the hammerhead shark. And again, it will be slightly different from me, but I'll show you what to do. So you're going to need to have the hippopotamus equipped. And you're going to need to talk to the hammerhead shark. So once you get here, you'll be able to tap him. Uh, of course, because I've unlocked the moonfish, he won't allow me to um, unlock him. But I'll show you what to do if you've not unlocked the moonfish. He'll teleport you up here. And you'll get the ability to, to destroy these pillars. So like each line. And you have to destroy a hundred of them. So... That's why you're able to click on them, but they won't do anything because it's for the um, hammerhead event. So you'll be able to just destroy them. And once you've destroyed them, you can then go back to the hammerhead shark and unlock it. But I'd recommend you unlock the moonfish and then join one of my live streams to then unlock the hammerhead shark. So now for the shark, you're going to need to have nine pilchards or pilchards however you pronounce it in your inventory and you're going to need to go to tropical sand zone so once here it does really look different because of the graphic uh, the textures have been removed but it makes the game run smoother which is nice what is that oh that's the ball all right you can unlock pilchards like in the water here the shark does seem to swim around the whole map, but I think it's here. He starts here, so check here first. Then if you tap him, then he says click me again, once you've fed him the pill chance. But once he says he's full, he'll say tap me again, and then you'll unlock the shark. So guys, that's how you unlock the moonfish, hammerhead, and normal shark in Creature Tycoon. I know you guys have been requesting the moonfish for a long while, so that's how you get it. So guys, don't forget to request any creatures you'd like me to, 
do next thanks for watching don't forget i'll do live streams so you can join my giveaways on the live streams thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye